Hope you're all keeping well. Uh, I've retreated into a, a chalet where I used to paint. I've done some painting for a while, but uh, it's so windy outside. It's a beautiful day, but the wind is really strong. And I was going to go for a bike ride later, but I hate cycling into the wind. So, uh, yeah, so I, the last photo um, vlog I did, I mentioned I was going to do one of these NAF unboxing vlogs um i it's a camera which <laughs> i've wanted for quite a while um it's a medium format camera um the mamiya 645 i've got most of my cameras my film cameras are 35 mil cameras i the only medium format 120 film camera i got is the lubital uh i did a vlog about a film hack where you can put 35 mil film in a 125 in a 120 camera, but it's a quirky camera. It's, it has a cult following, but quality-wise, it's a bit agricultural, like a lot of the Soviet era cameras. And I really wanted to treat myself to get a really good medium format camera, and I'd considered quite a few actually. Um, the Kiev 88 talking of Soviet cameras, is like the poor man's Hasselblad. It's called the Hasselbladinsky, actually. And it's a, a modular camera. Um, if you don't know what modular camera is, it's basically lens, the camera body, and the film unit are separate. You can take the film back off to load. So you can have a, a colour film it loaded. If you want to switch mid-roll into black and white, you put a slide in take the film back off, put the new film on, pull the slide out and carry on shooting in black and white. Um, but a guy, Ted Forbes, the art of photography, big photographic channel on YouTube, rather put me off when he mentioned, he did two reviews, fairly favourable, but he said that um, the one flaw which he really doesn't like, and which put me off certainly, is the... Um, shake camera shake it has a, the, the mirror when you take a shot the mirror flips up and when it comes down with such force that it can distort an image especially at, at low speeds at 30 second uh, at 30th and below so uh i thought well no i'll give that a miss then and the other one was the big pentax 647 the big giant camera they're absolutely beasts they are but uh the pricey, though, I mean, you're talking about 600 upwards for for an old, you know, not particularly mint condition one. So, uh, no, 647, love one, one day, if it's all a bargain, but not at the moment. The uh, Zenzabronica is another one. They're, they're reasonably priced compared to uh, a lot of the others. But in the end, I came back to the Mamiya 645, which, if you go on YouTube, I'm not, I'm not going to do a uh, review of this camera because I've never used it yet. This is a purely an unboxing video. But every review raves about these cameras. I've never heard anyone say a bad word about them. You know, people uh, are just so enthusiastic about them. They just say they're just fantastic cameras. And price-wise, they're reasonable. They're reasonable because they're plentiful. The, the the reasonable price. Now, this is important, <laughs> especially if you're thinking of buying a camera from Japan. I bought lots of things from the Far East, uh, from China, from Singapore. I bought things on the grey market. Uh, drones, cameras, saved a lot of money actually. Never had to pay import duties, so somewhat naively I thought, well, Japan, Far East, it'll be all right, <laughs> won't be a problem. Uh, I bought lots of stuff in the past, never had to pay import charges. No, <laughs> big mistake. I was whacked with a big import charge of £104. So what I thought was a bargain, a camera which was advertised as being in mint condition, and was a very good price, uh, postage free. I thought, well, I can't go wrong with that. Can't get one in the UK that cheap, especially a free postage. Uh, wow, yeah, it whacked me. 
<laughs> it really stung me. So if you're thinking of getting a camera from Japan, be prepared to pay um, hefty import charges. Whether the situation, we're still in the EU import tariff uh, transition period, so importing things from outside the EU block still incurs big import duties. So whether that will change when we finally left, I don't know. Uh, they'll have to rene renegotiate these things. Uh, I would think it would be in everybody's interest, Japan and the UK, to have favourable import charges because Japan is a big trading nation. Um, so we'll have to go, uh, we'll, have to, uh, we'll have to see, but anyway, I don't want to talk about the EU or import charges right now. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the Mamiya, the 645, and um, I'm going to go outside, do an unboxing, and then I'll give you a uh, an impressions, a sort of first impressions. As I say, it's not going to be a review, it's just going to be a... Uh, general unboxing and first impressions. Um, I think I'm going to need to buy a, bat a battery. I don't think there's a battery included. It's a 6 volt um, oxide, lithium oxide battery. So uh, I won't be able to use it straight away. So let's go and have a look, eh? Incidentally, this has been outside in the outbuilding for two days. Um, since delivery. I've just wiped it down with uh, a disinfectant solution and I'll wash my hands in soapy water after. Oh ridiculous, what a carry on. Right, here we go. This is it, moment of truth. Okay, oh. it's very blowy out here. Look at this fella. Medic! <laughs> Get him out of the way. <laughs> You're a paperweight today, Trevor. Lots of paper. As the camera in question. Oh, heavy. Heavy, heavy. What's that? Anything in that? No. Just package it. Let's move the package in. Right. Well, it's well packed anyway. Well, that's the lens for the looks of it. Oh dear. A bit more. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, wow, that's a beast. <laughs> the size of that. Gosh, it weighs a ton. <laughs> look at that. Does look in good condition. Have a look at the lens. Ooh, that looks looks okay. Looks really tidy. Alright, how do we get this on? Gosh, I can't believe how heavy this is. <laughs> it's incredible. That's the dot there. So line it up. There we go. Can you see what it is yet? Oh, I shouldn't say that. It's not, <laughs> not appropriate in this day and age, in this PC age. Wow, what a beast. Anyway, there's this. Yeah, it's very hard to. I've got the sun blinding me. Speed 60x, 125, 250, 500, uh, B, 8 seconds, 4 seconds, yeah. Oh. 
and that's something that gets confused me. <laughs> there are two speed um, dials on the, on the camera. Now I've got to, got to find out what that's about. It's all pretty straightforward, that's the focus, focus ring. Lens incidentally is uh, an 80mm 2.8. Yeah, quite stiff. There's the aperture, 2.8 to 22. There are two two buttons on this. There are two uh, shutter. Let's wind on. All right, this is a prism camera, so let's go out a bit. So, in conclusion, uh, re-recording re this because I, I didn't have the microphone on the wireless uh, microphone plugged into the camera, so the sound was terrible. Yeah, in conclusion, the um, the Mamiya 645. Um, well, apart from the import duties, which I've already spoken about at length, uh, it does seem to be uh, as advertised in mint condition. Uh, I've got a lot. I've got a bit of a learning curve. Obviously, uh, being familiar with film cameras, it's uh, not going to be too steep a learning curve. Basically, the all the basics about aperture, speed, etc., um, ISO, are all the same. Uh, Bits and bobs I've got to familiarise myself with. Um, it does need a battery, 6 volt battery. There isn't one. I wondered why the light meter wasn't working. Uh, so I just ordered one of those. Can't get the back off because the eyepiece here. I can't, <laughs> I've got to fiddle around. I can't get my thumb in to open it up. This is the back. Opens up. You pull out the cartridge, put the film on. So the film's loaded externally. Push it back in. But uh, <laughs> I've got to get that off first. I don't know if that unscrews. Yeah, it's, uh, I keep saying it's the beast from the east. It's absolutely, <laughs> absolutely huge, but it just feel a quality, bit, a quality piece of kit. Um, so yeah, we're just, it's a lovely day here. So I'm just doing jobs around the place. Um, so uh, I'm going to catch you soon, hopefully for another walk or whatever. I might even do a mountain bike ride with you. Um, I'm doing a lot of mountain biking at the moment. Certainly won't be taking this with me on a mountain bike ride. <sighs> OK, then. Hope you're keeping well and um, I'll catch you soon. OK, there she is. What a beauty. <laughs>